What is a cell? The cell is the minimum structural and functional unit of living organisms. Some organisms, like bacteria, are composed of a single cell. Multicellular organisms have many cells. A human is estimated to have a hundred trillion cells. Cells are self-contained and self-maintaining. They take in food for energy and carry out specialized functions like reproduction. Eukaryotic cell types. Animals, plants, fungi, and proteins are eukaryotes. Eukaryotes make up one of the three domains of life, bacteria and archaea being the other two. Eukaryotic cells have internal membranes and cytoskeleton. Eukaryotic cells have a membrane-bound nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. Cell division involves separating the duplicated chromosome by a movement of microtubules. In mitosis, one cell divides, making two genetically identical cells. In meiosis, it's required for sexual reproduction. Diploid cell results in four haploid cells. These haploid cells are called gametes. Prokaryotic versus eukaryotic cells. Complexity. Prokaryotic versus eukaryotic. Prokaryotes are much less complex than eukaryotes. The size is also substantially different. Prokaryotes are 1 to 10 micrometers at the widest diameter, while eukaryotes can range from 5 to 100 micrometers at its widest diameter. Plant cell. Plant cells have a large membrane enclosed vacuole. Cell wall is made up of cellulose, protein, and often lignin. Plasma desmata are pores in the cell wall that link with other plant cells in order to communicate with neighboring cells. Plastids, especially chloroplasts, contain chlorophyll, which allow them to conduct photosynthesis. Plant groups without flagella do not have centrioles. Animal cell. An animal cell is a type of eukaryotic cell. Animal cells are different than plant cells in that they do not have a cell wall or chloroplast and they have smaller vacuoles. Because they do not have a rigid cell wall, they have a variety of shapes. A phagocytic cell can engulf other cells or structures. There are many different types of animal cells. Adult humans have 210 different cell types. Fungal cells. Fungal cell wall is made up of chitin. In fungi, there is less definition between cells. Hyphae of higher fungi have porous partitions called septa. Septa allows the movement through the cytoplasm, organelles, and sometimes nuclei. Primitive fungi have few or no septa. In this case, each organism is a giant multinucleate supercell. Cenocytic or multinucleate cells resulting from multiple nuclear divisions without any cell division. This can also happen by cellular aggregation and dissolution of the cell membranes inside the mass. Cenocytes are found in fungi and some proteins like algae and slime mold. Some primitive fungi have flagella. Endomembrane structures. Cell membrane is a phospholipid bilayer membrane separates the cell from the environment, regulates transport of molecules in and out. Nuclear envelope, membrane around the nucleus. Nucleus is not part of the endomembrane system. Endoplasmic reticulum involved in synthesis and transport and is an extension of the nuclear envelope. Golgi apparatus is involved in the packaging and delivering of molecules. 
Lysosomes use enzymes to break down macromolecules and acts as a waste disposal system. Vacuoles act as storage in some cells. Vesicles, small membrane enclosed transport units that can move molecules between different compartments. Key concept eukaryotic cells. The complexity of eukaryotic organisms such as humans versus the simplicity of prokaryotes such as bacteria is possible because of compartmentalization. These compartments are called organelles. Requirements for life. All living organisms must be able to control their resources. The cell must be able to dispose of waste. Living cells use resources to create building blocks for cell maintenance, repair, and growth. Must be able to use and transform or produce energy in usable forms for the cell. And a cell must be able to protect itself from the changing environment in order to keep a stable internal environment. This is called homeostasis. Maintenance of homeostasis. Homeostatic maintenance is the way a cell or organism maintains its balance. It does this so the internal body and cell conditions are within tolerable limits required to maintain life. Homeostasis depends on the dynamic interaction of many cell and body systems, temperature, salinity, acidity, as well as nutrient and waste balance. Importance of homeostasis. Homeostasis allows the organism to live and function in a broad range of environmental conditions. There are three mechanisms of interdependent homeostatic control. 1. A receptor senses a change in the environment. 2. Receptor detects a change in the environment and sends a signal to the control center which responds. And 3. An effector is the response by the control center to re-establish homeostasis.